because of the law. In 1985, the U.S. Supreme Court, in the case of Tennessee versus Gardner, said that a police officer could not shoot a fleeing felon. But also in that case, the Supreme Court said that a police officer could elevate force to that degree that he or she believed was reasonable to stop the force that he or she perceived was happening to protect himself or the community. I've been practicing law for 18 years and we call that standard arbitrary and capricious, subjective. We've had a debate for a whole year over the issue of police brutality. And we see time and time again, individuals are charged, no conviction. Individuals are arrested, but they're not charged, no conviction. At the National Bar Association, we say there are many solutions to this problem but one that must be addressed that sometimes is being ignored is that the law is flawed. And until we change the law, you can arrest as many cops as you like. But if they go before a jury that has to second guess and apply their thoughts for what an officer was doing, they're gonna at all times believe the officer. You've heard the saying, I feared for my life. He reached for my gun. I thought they would attack me. I wonder what the narrative would have been if there was no tape in this particular case. And that's why we reenacted that particular scene. I can only imagine that it may have went something like this. A group of angry and out of control black teenagers stormed the community of McKinney and they went into a swimming pool that they had no rights to be there. And when we got there because we were called, they surrounded me and I feared for my life. I tried to protect myself. Why do I think that may have been the narrative? You all recall South Carolina. The immediate narrative that was sung was it was a traffic cop stop gone bad. He reached for my taser. And all of a sudden, we saw a video. Since July of last year, the National Bar Association has said, we must have legal reform. There must be a change in the laws on the local level, the state level, and the federal level. The reason we showed up here is America has been talking about how horrible these teens were those horrible teens that scaled the wall. They weren't supposed to have two people there. But when I was growing up, I wasn't a perfect child. I did some things that I probably wasn't proud of. But I'm a lawyer today because the system I grew up in had some grace and it had some mercy. The first thought wasn't to send me to the detention center, it was to send me to the principal's office but we find a narrative being painted. Even if the children was as they say, the police officer who we pay to protect and serve us, job was to de-escalate and not escalate the situation. 